This is a video showing the uh, school in Bangkok. It's called the Siren Dorn School for Prosthetics and Orthotics at Mahidol University uh, in Bangkok. This is the main level. It's a two-story uh, uh, building. Um, and this is the first floor. As you can see here, it's a cast modification room, but this modification room is attached to the clinic um, on this side of the school on the first floor is more patient services um, that is connected to the school uh, in a positive way to uh, uh, give students and faculty uh, uh, the clinical attachment that it uh, that it requires and here on this side of the first floor are uh, as we go out from the fitting area, some of the technical production areas, moving to the back here in the back corner uh, of the first floor is the, a room dedicated to laminations and here to vacuum molding, vacuum forming uh, sheet thermoplastics. Okay, so that's m those areas except for those back areas are mainly attached to the clinic. Here's the student machine room quite well equipped some new uh, carvers there from Joss America that they got from Europe and here as I move down the other hallway on the first floor of the school are the main labs that are used for the classes uh, this is a four-year degree program the prosthetic orthotic content mainly come in the second third and fourth years the fourth year being a very hands-on practical year where they do more clinical placements uh, during that final year. But you can see the labs are well equipped, benches, vices. Each room has uh, AV uh, equipment hooked in with uh, screens, whiteboards, projectors. Here is the fourth year students going through the ISPO exam. They're modifying AFO base cast in that big cast modification room. So you can sort of see the activity. This was during the week of April the 1st. I was there as part of the ISPO Category 1 uh, evaluation of the school program. And during that, the fourth year students go through a formal exam process. Here we're moving back to the clinical uh, waiting area, but you can see there's other rooms dedicated to uh, gate assessment, um, dynamic alignment, and there are some other areas in that, that in that area of the school. Here we're moved to the front waiting area for the patients that come to the clinic space of the school and now I move out of the doors of the first floor. <clears throat> Here's the main entrance to the left and I go up the stairs to the second floor. The school is well financed through the university itself, but also through the Nippon Foundation, which funds a lot of the international faculty. So we have a probably 2.6, 2.7 million dollar budget with about 30 staff, much different than the GBC programs. There is on this side the admin offices, faculty offices. I'm in the main foyer of the second floor. You can see there's a wall here dedicated to the opening of the uh, school earlier in 2012. The school moved here from another site in, in within the last year. Down here are some classrooms, lunch room. Here, this room here that you see is a computer-based room for the students to use. On the left, a It's a spin around, a lunch room. To my two of my colleagues, Carson Hart from Cambodia Trust and Wes Pryor from Handicap International. Here's a bigger board meeting room where we were stationed for the week. So there you go. I hope uh, you enjoyed that view.